thing about having an off-leash dog, yes, I still have the side, is I have no problem with trained off-leash dogs being off-leash, like, in a park like we were. But when other people or dogs show up, you should stop your activities and leash your dog or put your dog in, like, a middle command or something that shows that you have true control over your dog until those people leave. And if they don't leave and they've come to enjoy the park as well, um, then you leave. Or you do something different with your dog, like practice the art of doing nothing until they leave if they ever do. Um, these are public spaces. They're not yours, especially like when you're technically breaking the law as there are leash laws. Um, so if something were to ever happen, it'd be your dog that would get in trouble because it was off leash. So just be mindful. Put yourself in someone else's shoes. If you had a reactive dog and you are showing up to enjoy a park meant for humans, that's a public space, you just wanted to sit on a picnic blanket with your dog. Well, you can't do that if there's an off-leash dog running around that you don't trust or is triggering your dog. Or if you came with a young child to have a picnic, I would feel very nervous with an off-leash dog running around with food out with the young child. So read the room, do the right thing, there are always alternative activities you can do with your dog, so have a backup plan.